Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Russian Fishing 4, and it is a nice sunny day at Oldberg Lake. Kind of contemplating doing a little spin fishing here. I haven't done that that much, actually. I've been mostly feeder fishing, and if it doesn't work out for me, I might try going back to that, but there are a lot of issues with snags in these parts. <laughs> This is actually a really good place to spin cast, but you got to be very careful for all the snags. I tried to do off the bridge recently, and I instantly got snagged up on something just under the bridge. So, I think, let's see, let me take a look right here. I'd love to be able to catch a decent pike. And I haven't been able to fish much for them, honestly. Now, I've only got a Corona rod, which only goes about 7 pound test. So I can't catch anything really big, but there are a lot of perch in this location too. But there's all kinds of cover, all kinds of reeds, so this usually is a fairly good spot. And if we don't have any luck, we can always go over to that other location on the other side there. I'll show you in a little bit here. Probably won't do much here, but I'll at least give it a try. Now I did put a steel leader on here, and I've got, let me show you what... Here I've got just got a Siberia Icon Slim S006. Can't go real heavy on this particular rod. I can't carry. Let's see, what is the limitations? I believe. Yeah, I can't go beyond 10 grams for the the lure. So I actually already have a couple lures I can't even put on here yet. I need to get enough money to buy me a heavier rod, and I think one of those kits that you can buy from the tackle store has a decent rod in there that's a little heavier than this one so we're gonna see if we can't maybe get some perch too and I think they might go for this particular spoon but I need to build up my skills and my spoons that way I can move on to wobblers and other things I just gotta keep from getting a snag if I can Now, what is my speed here? I've got a 16. Let's try a little faster. Let's try a 22. Uh, granted, it is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Not normally the best time, but I think I got something here. I think it is a perch. It looks like a decent perch, honestly. He's got some oomph to him. Oh, nice! Catch fish using seven different lures. That completed a task. He's a 577 gram perch, so he's a checkmark perch. Not too bad. We'll keep him. Yeah, usually this place is good for perch. And you will get the occasional pike. And spoons seem to attract them a little bit better than the other lures do. As you can see, we're not doing too bad on that. I think this is a little fellow though. Yeah, he's he's teeny. He's teeny tiny. Yeah, perch, that kind of your, you know, bread and butter in this game. <laughs> if you can't catch other things, you generally will catch them. Bleak is often good for that too. If you just want to keep earning some money, that's a good way to do it. Oh shoot, I hit the... Didn't mean to do that. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, my sense of casting direction is pretty wild right now. Until my skill gets built up a little more, I think it's going to keep doing that. There we go. And it's partly sunny is just really good, too, for these guys. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to do the perch over here real well still or not, but apparently they're still biting here. This used to be really good for them. And sometimes, if you get enough of them, you can get a decent order from the cafe going. Yeah, see what I mean? I hear just... That's the way they used to be, too, so that's... At least that's been consistent. I figure I'll just keep pulling these guys in. And as it gets closer to dusk... Now see, I threw it way over there and it went that way. <laughs> Not even close to where I wanted it to go. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I think I lost him. I did. Dang on it. That could have been a snag, though, too. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, I think I'm hanging up on stuff in there is what's going on. Yeah, and they seem like they like a faster presentation, too. 16 was a little slow. They were kind of ignoring it. There we go. Keep the perch coming. There we go. That was a little bit better. Yeah, this particular lure has kind of a perchy look to it. It seems to really grab these guys' attention. Okay, let's see if we can get that right down. Nope. <laughs> Went off to the right. Now, here in a minute, I think I might throw out a couple of my feeder rods just to see what's biting around here. At one time, I did catch some eel right around here. Usually you'd think they'd be out deeper, but... Ooh, okay. We'll take you, whatever you are. Okay, we're going to need to... A little more friction on you. Let's see what he is. Okay, a little more. We can go. To, we can go a lot more than that. I don't want to lose this fella. Okay. I'm not gonna push any more than that. Okay, this... I'm... It might be a really large perch. It might be a pike. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be fighting like a pike, though. Not oh, quite 
hard enough. He's fighting more with strength than he is with finesse. Almost like a catfish. But I don't think catfish go for spoons, so... No, he's a pike. He is a pike. Nice one, too. Damn. That was more like it. 1.4247 kilograms. Got a light tackle bonus for him, too. That's nice. So, added to my spin fishing there. 1091 XP. The XP wasn't super high, but... He's a lot of fun to pull in. That's for darn sure. We might want to take our friction break down a little bit. <laughs> I always forget when that happens and something really big grabs onto it and then it ends up snapping the line. Well, that wasn't anywhere close to where I wanted to go, but I did want to get that pike. Yeah, we'll see if this check these perch over in the cafe and see if there's any perch orders because if we got some perch orders we might get some decent silver man they really do love this spoon I don't know what it is Like I said, they're not monsters most of the time, but they are consistent. That's what I am kind of interested in, because it... Well, I thought I had another one. I think I did, actually, but he quit. There we go. Alright. Yep, another perch. Yeah, let me go ahead real quick and put those feeder rods out. Let's see, which ones... I always forget which ones I have and which spot here. I think it's under U. Let's see. Yeah, I want to use my Comma Comfort and one of my Sorrentos. I don't want to use both Sorrentos for this. So, it looks like I've got a three. That took a minute. I've got cheese on that. That's because I was going for Tench the last time we played. Let's see here. Let's keep it, let's keep a one on there. Let's put, let's put these pieces of fish on there. I just want to see if there might be an eel out there. And there might not be, but... Oh, come on. There we go. And four. If we don't get anything while I'm spin casting, I'll sw I can always switch it over. It's not going to hurt anything there. Let's see. Let's get this happy hook off. It's a little bit too small for what we're after. I'm going to put this hook on. And I am going to, like I said, I'm going to put that on there. And let's see, where was... Well, let's just try it right out there. Yeah, it was in a place you wouldn't really think they would be. It was right... Well, shoot, that's not even close to where I wanted. It was actually in the... center of this. That's better. I think I have my clips on. That's probably why it's doing that. So 
So control. Yep, that's what it is. Let's take the clip off. All right. That's where I wanted to go, right there. Okay, we'll put that down right there. Tighten that up. There we go. And we'll just see if it does anything. It may not do a darn thing, but, you know, it's worth a try. Like I said, I thought I remembered somebody catching. Really? <laughs> I just threw it out there. <laughs> I remember somebody catching the eels right here, so... Boy, these perch are coming quick and often. That one's almost as big as that one I got. Well, let's keep trying this again, guys, because as long as they're coming, I'm fishing for them. And if they're biting just by me throwing in the daggone water, that is enough for me. The weather just changed to sunny. It's 6.42. We're getting... Uh, there we got another one. We're getting closer to dusk, so we are getting higher odds for getting the pike now. Oh, a night. That's, that's new. He's not big enough to really mount to much, but where there's one, there might be more, and they're going for that particular lure, obviously. It was like as soon as that sun came out, too. Something is going for that one. Okay. There we go. I thought I saw one of the bottom rods moving, but not 100% certain if it wasn't my other line. Might have been, might have been just a reflection. Well, that could be bad. That's kind of in snag central. Yeah, we got us another one. Little fella. A lot of these little guys. Man. Yeah, night is almost here, guys. I think if we don't get anything else by nighttime, I think I might switch my baits. Because I've got another spot that I was told is a good bream spot. 52.32. I'm going to have to figure out where that is. And we might give it a try. There we go. Lots of perch. Ooh. 
Ooh. Do we have him? Yeah, we got him. That would be a good way to end the night. Okay, a little more friction. He's not as big as that other pike was, but I think it is another pike. I don't know. Um, I think it might be another eyed, actually. Yeah, a nice one. 623 gram. We'll take him. Alright, I think what I might do is pick this stuff up here. And check out this other spot. Let me get my flashlight on here. Yeah, maybe they aren't going to bite here for them. I was hoping. Give it a try anyhow. But not so much as a nibble off these rods. Not so much as a nibble. This is what you're going to need to use for eel. Yeah, let me go ahead and get everything up here and we'll go look for that spot. I'll find it and show you where it is on the map once we get there. Alright guys, it looks like it was actually 5242. I was thinking 5232. We'll try it here. Now this is actually right over here on this, and I have fished over here before. But apparently these guys move around quite a bit. And according to some of my sources... <laughs> It has moved once again. I don't know if it's been too long since I picked up that tip. We'll find out here real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and pull out... Let's see, not that rod, not that rod, this one. There we go. And we're not going to use that, we're going to use... We got the... Let's go back to this type of hook. And we're going to get... Cottage cheese. Actually, we might just go with this and put in some of our bream ground bait. And I'm going to do the same for the other two rods. Let me get that taken care of real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. I've got all my rods out. I didn't have an extra feeder for one of my rods, so I just went ahead and kept the the fish on there. Because there is a hole out there, and we might be able to get a burbot or something. And if you take out here, this is where I'm throwing out. It's 2.5 feet deep. Not super deep, but maybe enough to get something. And if we don't do a whole lot of anything here... Then in the next morning, I think what we might do is just move down to the other side of the bridge and do a little bit more perch fishing. Be interesting to see if anything happens here. But we do have the ground bait feeder on the feeder rods, so it might help. Alright guys, I've been trying this spot. Honestly, it's not really doing anything. And I'm not saying that he gave me a bad tip. I'm saying I think he gave me a tip and it has been too, been too long since I've had a chance to act on it with all the work I've had to do around the house, with all the events that I've been taking part in for other games. But yeah, I think this is not going to go anywhere, to be perfectly honest. And that's all right. Let's go ahead and pull these. And we're going to head over there and do some more perch fishing. All right, we're actually not too far from where we want to go. Now, the day before, we were doing the perch over on the other side of this particular bridge. I want to try it now on this side. <coughs> if 
But I need a nice open space where I can cast, and I don't think there is one on this side where we wouldn't get a lot of snags, but I believe there's a pretty decent spot over here. Unless they change some things. I think one time I was even standing on this rock. Can I get up on the rock? Yes. Yep, it was right here. So this is where I want to be, and there should be plenty of spot to place my rods down. Probably could also do it down here, honestly. It's shallow enough. See how shallow it is here? And there's some stick-ups there. If I can keep from throwing it into the stick-ups, that would be bad. But let's see what we can do here, guys. Let me go ahead. I am going to go ahead and throw these out, too, just as an in case. Don't know that I'll get anything. But if I do, it's impossible to... There we go. You never know. Throw that one right there. Alright, we'll see if anything bites off of those two things. I don't know that they will, but if they do and don't, it doesn't really matter. And it's a partly sunny day. We're going to see if we can get some more perch. Right off the bat. like a fairly decent one too. Ah, 710. He's the biggest one so far. Yeah, let's go on the other side of these rods. I'm afraid I might be snagging up on them a little bit. Okay, that's a little to the right, but that's fine. Ah, nuts. That's not good. I run a real risk of getting a snag. Truth be known, though, that is where they're located. Yep. Failed to free it. I have lost so many lures off these damn things, and they always seem to never want to come loose anymore. They used to come loose every now and then, but now they just kind of made it to where you can't get it loose. I don't care if you could reach down and pick it up, which I should be able to. It's right there. real life, I've gotten that loose. Anybody would. That bull crap. Bowl caca. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not the way things would be. Well, that's infuriating. <laughs> and really not very realistic, but ah, uh, it is what it is. Well, it's gotten cloudy, which usually means the perch are going to stop biting quite so much. So with that and the lure being lost, I think I'm going to call this an episode at this point. 
we're gonna go see what we can get if anything from the cafe I'm contemplating because about mainly became mainly thinking about this because I've not been really getting much other than certain species from here because of the gear that I have I'm thinking about going back to the winding rivulet to show you how I got so many levels so quickly to get here I didn't record it and I should have honestly alright let's see we're gonna go to the cafe okay so uh, there's not a single pike one there's bleak one and there's it's no perch and no pike it's not even a night well yeah there's a night if you catch one it's four gram kilograms or more which is pretty hard to do mm. well shoot not gonna get big money but we did get quite a few of them well, let's see how well we did All right, we got one. The big one was at 250. We got one at 177. The hide was 187. That's good, honestly. Hide usually brings some pretty good money. 58, 60, 333 for the pike. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. Could have been better, but we had fun, and that's what matters. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back probably at the Winding Rivulet. I think that's where we're going to go. We're going to go back there, and I'm going to show you what I did. Because, honestly, I think I can get a little more XP a little bit quicker than I am right now here with what gear I have. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.